our brick patio that my husband did were delivered. I don't know if they're, you know, they have the one chair and he forgot to have the one in the truck or if they were sent. Done this before you fall. Airs for our brick patio that my husband did were delivered and so I wanted to show you the chairs they have to be put together but I want to show you the chairs then I also bought a fountain that's gonna go on this wall and then I bought some lights that are gonna that we're gonna string here and then what else did do we have oh I have some planters that I'm gonna go looking for some plants to go in them today to go on the patio so let me flip this around and let you guys see the finished product of the patio so I did there I have some footage to show you of my husband doing the patio and then I have and I'm going to show you what the finished patio looks like before we do anything to it so let me show you that Something in my brain caused this stress So come on, make me feel different Okay guys, so here is the brick patio. We still are going to fill this in with some landscaping rock here around the tree and the sprinkle head. So have that. On this wall is where the fountain is going to go. And then I'm going to string some lights here just to have the lights out here. Uh, did you guys even see that? Yeah, I'm going to string the lights and everything. So let me show you the chairs in the box and the fountain that's going to come out here. We're also changing these lights that go over the garage. So I'm excited. So let me let you have a look. So you guys, these are the rocking chair and I love these because these are all weather um, chairs. So they are not going to, we've had the wooden ones before and I love them, but um, after a while they they just kind of almost disintegrated on us. I love these and, I'll, and we'll take them out of the box and show them to you, but I love these because these are all weather and they are made out of like a resin type um, material. And so, and I'll insert a clip to show you our photo here, just to show you um, what they look like. Um, so yeah, there's the chairs. They have to be assembled, but assembly is super easy. Less than 30 minutes to do is what I'm seeing the website tell, tell us to do. So yes, yeah, so there's the chairs Planters that I ordered. Um, there's actually two of them. Let me see if I can't them out so I love the basket weave and I picked these up from Ross the larger one was $14.99 and then here's a smaller one as well and this one was let me see how much this one was this one was $11.99 so these are the planters and these actually come out here let you see them um, yeah see they come out like this so if I needed to take the plant out and water it and then put it back in there or, or whatever. And then of course these are just the, that. So those are the planters. And then the next thing I ordered from Amazon were these um, outdoor pillow covers, um, waterproof pillow covers. So I bought those to go in the rocking chairs as well and the inserts I got as well. So I'll try and link that down in the description box for you. I'll look for something similar to this on Amazon to link for you some black planners. Um, because again, I got these at Ross and I won't be able to. And then the lighting that I got for them, I also got from Ross for $8.99. These are solar powered, as you can see, the outdoor solar LED string lights. Um, it's the ambient lighting. Um, for the outdoor space so I'm excited about that but I got two packs of these and then they are waterproof they are solar powered 
There are 10 bulbs, that's all I need for that space. And then it's um, 12 and a half feet long. So it's gonna be plenty for two packs of these for the outdoor patio area. So I'm really excited. Now let me show you the So guys, tent. this is the box with the fountain. I ordered it from um, Amazon and it is from Sunny Days Decor. It is the, um, the Mezzanina Outdoor Well, I mean Wall Fountain. And um, it came, I also ordered, let me show you the um, chemicals that will go inside of it to keep the water clear. I'm gonna insert a clip here to show you what the actual and fountain looks like. And then these are like. the suggested products. Um, this is what you would use for a, a bird bath or a fountain. So that, and then also this one um, the algae side. So I will link those in the description box as well. These are well. all the things that are going outside on our new patio area so we can sit out front and enjoy people watching and just being nosy and <laughs> spying on our neighbors at night. <laughs> okay guys, so I just realized that they only set one chair. I don't know if the the, you know, they have the one chair and he forgot to take the other one off the truck or if they only sent one chair, I'm not really sure. They come in sets of two, in a set of two, so there should be two chairs. So let me go try and figure out what's going on with that so I can call somebody if I need to. I'll be back. Okay guys, so supposedly all I can do is reach out to the seller, which is Amazon says I have to wait 24 hours and it is 4th, 4th of July weekend. So no telling when I'm gonna hear from these people. But yeah, they shipped me only one chair, and um, it comes in a set of two, so I don't know how they botched that up. So clearly, I want my other chair, or I want my money. Well, I'll keep you posted on what happens with that, but my husband is going ahead and putting the one chair together, so I'll let you see how that's coming along. Super simple to put together, and hopefully the other chair comes because this one, I hate to have to take it apart and ship it back so I can get my money. Anyway, here's what it looks like. So guys, here I am just taking the chair out of the box, and then we're going to begin assembling the chair. and by we I mean mostly my husband um, but it was super easy it didn't take a lot um, to put it together I did help just a little bit but yeah so the chair was pretty easy to put together and I love the material that it's made out of and the chair turned out really nice So guys, for the front door, here are two welcome signs that I really liked. I liked an element from each one of them, and so I decided to do my own. I picked up this from Walmart. Um, it was pretty inexpensive. I think it was less than $15, and I'm just going to paint the three different areas because I like the three different colors on the one, but I like the words on the other. So I have my paints here. I have some sponge brushes, and here I'm just going to paint and let you see me um, put this welcome sign together.
So guys, here's what it looks like with the three different colors from the one welcome sign. And so now I'm going to take the elements from the other welcome sign and add the words, um, hey, hi, hello, and then of course the ribbon and the greenery at the top. So I'll let you keep watching while I finish this off. So I really liked the ribbon and the greenery from the one welcome sign so I just went on Amazon and Googled and looked for polka dot and striped ribbon that looked close to my inspiration and some greenery as well. So now let's um, get started with putting my words on and then I'll add my greenery and my ribbon and I'll let you see the finished product. And here's how it looks so far and now all I have to do is add my greenery and my ribbon. So here I'm just making my bow and you guys I have um, done a bow for you before in past videos so I sped this up and didn't take the time to actually show you how to do the bow but if you're interested in that just leave a comment down in the comment box and I may have to do a video on just making bows guys I'm finishing this up and I'll show you what it looks guys, like it in the end for the second chair to come in but it is here so now I'm going to go outside put the rocking chairs out you guys I look right it is so hot but I'm gonna put the rocking chairs out and then put out everything else and I wanted to show you the artificial cedar um, trees that I got to go in those planters that I showed you guys let me show you those real quick and then we'll get outside and start working it's extremely hot you guys today so this might be in parts I might have to let the Sun go down some but let me show you the trees so guys here's the artificial shrubberies that I'm going to put in the planters um, they come in a set of two for like $48 I think um, I'll link them in the description box for you below, but I want to go with these because I don't want to have to deal with, um, real shrubberies turning brown on me if they're not watered enough and so on and so forth. I don't want to really have to keep up with the upkeep of them. Um, but I'm going to put them in the planters and sit them out. Now we'll tell you these are 
good quality. They are realistic looking in person, but you do have to be careful when you're fluffing them because these pop off really easily. So that's the only thing about them that I've found so far. I have seen reviews that say they hold up really well, but when you're fluffing them, these come off like super easy, super easy. So you have to be careful. Okay, so let's get outside and, and uh, get the patio So guys, out. I also wanted to say that since we are at the end of July, I am going to take down my 4th of July. So I'm gonna switch this out with the welcome sign that I that I made. And I'm gonna take the red flowers out of here and add in um, a different one just to um, give it a little bit more filler. So I am gonna be doing that to this space as well. But here is the patio area and let's get started on it. Guys, I'm just getting the fountain ready. I'm putting in the pump and making sure everything is the way it needs to be. And here it is hung on the wall and I'm adding the water and the solution and I absolutely love the after effect. You guys, I love the sound of this. I could sit out here in these rocking chairs and listen to this fountain all day long. And now here's a look at how everything turned out. As a finishing touch, I thought I'd bring my lanterns from my pool deck and put them out front. They go nicely with all the other decor that's out here. Okay guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, I would love it if you would give this video a thumbs up. It really does help the channel. If you are new to the channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. And you guys, don't forget to comment down in the comment section. And don't forget to enjoy all the little things in life because truly it is the little things that give us the sweetest, prettiest little pleasures. Until the next video, we'll see you next week, guys. Bye-bye.